Guys, if you subscribe, you're gonna have very good luck. So please subscribe. Hi guys, and welcome to another bedtime coding video. And today we put the character in. The player, okay. The so like character controls. Yeah, the player. But we couldn't really find a good MPT. Now today we just put a character in. We make the character able to move around. And that's good enough. You guys are seeing details later. Uh, oh before we start, uh, just to say I've set the width and height in the game config to map, uh, to the, be the same as the map. So there's no black edge anymore. So um, we need to zoom in a little bit. So that way it looks bigger. Okay. Yeah, it cannot move because currently nothing is done. You cannot move around. There's no camera actions or whatever. Um, so are we doing camera actions today? Maybe today. Maybe today. If the character can move around, the camera should follow the player. So the center grid. So next, we need to add the player in to, mm. into the game. So, like, so far this is like the best one. This one fits the 16 by 16. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll um, just use ghost man. We'll use maybe this one. Okay then. Yep. So... It wouldn't be very good for RPG heroes. That's right. Later if you find a better one or you can draw it one by yourself. Uh, yeah. I think I could just edit this, change this to some yeah. green. Yeah, sure. Instead. Um, yeah, again, so this is an uh, asset, so we need to load it in. So this one is called, uh, because it has all those um, animation stuff. So it's a sprite sheet. Uh, the first thing here is the name. So let's add this a player. And then <coughs> the address, assets. I was thinking of making you can choose the NPC. Maybe. Like look, free all them. Yeah, all those things need time to code. So if you have time later, you can code all those things mm -hmm. by yourself. Okay. So the frame is 16 by 16. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, those, those maps, uh, we need to set them as a, some kind of collision. So the player won't be able to go across the walls. Basically, this whole layer should be set. Um, collision base. So when can we like sort of test it? After it's done. Well, this is still in alpha, right? It's not even alpha. I think develop. So when it will it be alpha? So this should be about once you finish all the logic. So set, set collision by exclusion means you want to exclude some tiles from the collision detection. Uh, but we set here minus one means everything in this layer is uh, collidable. Mm. So everything in those layer will be stop the player from going. Um, next, let's put a player in. So let's say um, player. Can we do that? This player, this physics, add sprite and summon. Dun, dun. Let's try this first. Dun, player. Uh, which frame is the player should be? Because there is a border here, we have one more frame. So this is frame zero, right? So this is frame one. So this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? I so this eight. is eight. Zero, we start from zero. Eight of them makes this seven. So this is the ace. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. That's not. 
But why do they just fall through the map? Yeah, that's because in the setting we set the gravity as 200, which should be zero. Now let's try. There's no gravity, there's bombing. But there it shouldn't have collision. We haven't done anything. It's not moving because we haven't done anything. And it, should, it shouldn't have this background as well. We need to remove the background. So this this PNG, I think we need to process it somehow to remove the background. So to remove the background, uh, we can open this image in, in the preview Mac. Uh, use this pencil. And then here, use the, this tool. It's called the Instant Alpha. Use this tool and select the background. It will select all the background. So you should just press delete. The background will be deleted. So now the background is uh, deleted. In the code, refresh, there's no background anymore. But what, we have to make it start like right here. Yeah, so that's part of the code. Uh, we said it starts 10, 10, maybe 100, 100. We move it somewhere. <laughs> so we need to find the right place. Uh, 10, Nine. I think we should start it in front of the bed, which is um, so the it's sixteen by sixteen, right? Well, so it should be one, two. Here. Where this this place? Here. Here. Yeah. So you can count by the squares: one, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three. So three. 16 because it's 16 by 16 hmm. Is it 4? 3? What? Ah, uh, so it's the the middle of the the picture is the position so you need to uh, make this the, the half of the thing as the location. So you need to give it the offset, which is uh, half of the 16, it's uh, eight. Then it's um, in the right place. Good, now we need to make the moving controls. So next we want to make it move. Um, Basically, we need to create a cursor kind of keyboard event. So, like, when W. Uh, let's do arrow keys. Arrow keys, yeah. So this is the arrow keys. So um, I'll go for down. This is created. Now we need to introduce another main function in this class because um, that the moving part requires the main game loop. So the game rope is like in a Python game. Uh, we have this main game rope right? loop. So this is a function called update. That's the, the framework. Every time there's a loop, it will call this update basically. So in the game loop, we can do a lot of things. Basically, you can imagine, imagine it's uh, every time there's a tick, 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 tick. This update get caught once and once and again. Let's just have a try first. Try? <laughs> um, Why? Well, I did get this music and PNG stuff that's definitely not copyrighted because it comes from an open source. Scratch that coding program. So at the beginning, the players uh, velocity is zero. X. Mm. 
and then uh, when we press the left button which is down uh, we set it as a so will 16. it move by one grid hopefully <laughs> i don't want glide <laughs> they said this is moving but it doesn't have collision <laughs> where's that collusion <laughs> the collision yeah all those things haven't been done yet at least it's moving, I guess. What? <laughs> Next, I want to do like going downwards. Yeah, so we've done the, um, the left. Next, we'll do the right. It has to be in a loop, right? This is already in the loop. The update function will be called by the main loop. Which I need to explain. Uh, that's from the engine. So that's already in the loop. So if right is done. Bro, so, that's really fast typing. Okay, so we just copy this to make the up and uh, up and down. Up, down. So when it's up, the, the Y will change. Okay, now it's moving. You baby like. Okay. Up and down. Left and right. Up and down. But Is it I too want slow? it. Uh. La 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 when in this game and he won yeah it's gone where did it go <laughs> did did it come back so next we need to fix this um, and we need to change the zoom to two no it's okay because we the camera should follow the player if the player moves okay, the then camera should let's follow. do that um, let's first make the some physics physics when are we doing collisions so right we now? set the set the Boundaries first, so it cannot go outside of the map. And then we have the height. And last, we need to set the player. Say, wait, let me try. <laughs> okay, it doesn't go collision. Then we have to copy this code and do it on. And I don't think the moving is very efficient. It it's very slow. slow. Like this bigger. slow. Yeah. about the speed now. much better <laughs> but i want every grid it moves it i still want the energy bar but that'll be in next episode probably Yo <laughs> yay la, 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 la. <laughs> okay next we need to set the camera what the main camera uh should have also had the boundary so yeah, this um, one with physics so from, bounce, you can really uh, from the start physics. point to the to the to the map voice yeah? mm -hmm. map voice and height, so it cannot go outside of the map. Makes sense. How about the camera following? 
Yeah, so the camera should also follow the player. Okay, shall we try? Okay. Shall we try? And then... Let's try. First we gotta move... Wait. Okay. That'll work. Oh, maybe we need to zoom in a bit more. I mean by a... Uh, Four. No, five. Now will we work? Come on, work. It's not following. So, something's wrong. Dun, 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 dun. So, because we I have can't. we have this zoom, uh, the camera is not... Zoom. Is not working as uh, the normal zoom. Um, so what I did was um, I gave the camera uh, a much bigger area so it can move across past the, the edge. And also I set a offset for the follow camera so it makes the player in the center even. Wait, can with I the just zoom. test it for any bugs? So currently the the camera will follow uh, but it will still stop you to the edge and after the edge there's a, just a black kind of place so can we extend the path area to another map and then make that the maze yeah if you maybe we, like we the hit, hit the edge we would just say you go to another uh, there's a map or something. Oh, it's the <laughs> castle. We're just walking. So the, the, on the next thing we need to do is make the player collide with the uh, the layer. So with this code. The, yeah. Now let's try it. So with this line, the Felix add the collide yeah. the player to the to the map layers. So this way you cannot move uh, on top of the Wait, let me draw. Dun, dun, dun. How about the door? Yeah, you cannot go out because the door is in the card base. The door's locked. Yeah. Okay. So, so I think how are we supposed to get out? <laughs> uh, so we need the NPC to help us to push the the story. Yeah. Um, also, the character is not moving with the animation. Yep. <laughs> we need to do that. So he's gonna uh, go like. Yeah, we will do that in the next episode. Okay, that's all for today. So, bye guys. Bye. We.